Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Toon World Survival. So last episode, we were doing some of the, I guess I'll call it in-game prep. We do have a reactor up. It is currently hibernating. And I'm going to try to work on our queued requirements, things that I feel like we need before we, uh, before we hit the go button on that thing. So uh, chief amongst them would be in my opinion at least, um, better armor. Right now, as you can see, we even have acid with no armor. We need plasteel armor for a bunch of these guys, uh, which means I'm going to need to mine up considerable amounts of plasteel. And for that, I think what I'm gonna do is to take Semph here off of mining entirely so that Janes, who is faster at mining, can be the one to mine up the plasteel. So if you take a look, I have marine armor queued up triple times. Uh, I'm also going to want to make marine helmets. I think my brawlers are likely to get shot more than anyone else. Additionally, it looks like I'm going to need uh, at least two shield belts. So I'll get those queued up as well. I think the shield belts are probably the cheapest and easiest for me to make. So I'm going to make them immediately. Um, yeah. And once we have... We definitely have the weapons. Uh, fortunately in this game, unless you leave out your weapons in the open, they don't really decay. But we don't have the uh, arms or armor. Uh, another thing I want to do is to move this turret here. Um, probably... Huh. I'm going to put it... Oddly enough, I'm going to put the turret inside of here so that this doesn't become targeted for uh, sapping. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a way to, well, I guess eh, it wouldn't become a turret, a uh, target for sapping. Uh, let's see what would become a target. So this whole sector is secured, as is here. This is outside uh, to bait out shots. This is secured. Um. This could be sapped into. This down here. So one way to prevent this area from being sapped could be... Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Alright, let's go ahead and deconstruct here. Deconstruct this. And I'm going to order a mining job like that. That will create a corridor uh, down here. Um... That will um, act as sort of a buffered zone. And this is protected. All of this is protected. No sappers would ever come in here. This whole area is protected. Yep, so it's just, I would say, this spot right here is not protected, and that is going to require some attention as a result. In fact, uh, what I could do is destroy this and mine it, and actually create some sort of full-fledged full corridor here. Um, I don't really care if it's uh, exposed to air. Um, it could be somewhat outdoors. That's totally fine. And Senf just got carcinoma. Alright, well, we'll get you some medical treatment. Uh, let's check the medical tab. So, Acid's at 36, Senf's at 46, Tony's at 43. Tony and Acid are, uh, certainly the ones most susceptible. And then Poppy, as a reminder, um, has liver damage. Uh, which is no good either. All right. So I'm not going to build roofs anywhere, um, because they're not allowed. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel that. Let's uh, put the marble wall back, actually. And this will be the protected corridor here. Uh, 
Now it's temporarily going to get a little cold as a result, but uh, soon we'll warm it back up. All right, Simps getting treatment. Now for excise carcinoma with real meds. Stormy has only initial radiation, so... Uh, oh, it also just occurred to me I don't have my music on. There we go. Masterwork shield belt. Oh, phenomenal. So I think I'm going to force wear this with Tony. Tony is probably the best brawler because she's nimble. Um, whereas Acid is literally a brawler, but is not nimble. I think Tony is probably more likely to dodge, you know, attacks and shots and things. Plus she has bionics, a lot of bionics. Um, yeah, I don't know. Alright, Carcinoma is excised. The, uh... I think what I'm going to do is uninstall this here so it can't be targeted for any reason. Uh, so th we'll call this beacon. Uh, beacon uninstall. Fine. Critically important for buildings of miscellaneous trade beacons to be placed there. So now when we uninstall it, it just sits there. And when I need to use it, I can reinstall it. Ooh, looks like my power's a little sad. That's something I have to consider. Alright, so I've removed the roof off of here so I'm not, quote-unquote, cheating or whatever. Um, this turret is going to be very, very easy to reuse. I'm just going to basically install it here. Uh, a boom rat formed a bond. Okay. That's a bummer because that means I can't explode it without consequences. Alright, second drone's over. And I think what I'll do is I'll actually mine out to build constructed walls here, just so that they're repairable. It's a rather large project, but uh, it's going to allow us to way, way better protect ourselves. Um, going to create a copied turret here. I actually want to put it right where that battery is. So I have to do a better job of putting these... You know, actually, let's... Um, hmm. Yeah. That's a bad spot for the battery. I'm going to mine that out as well. Semp, no longer incapable of walking. Good, you're on your feet. And you got carcinoma again. At least it's not rad damage. Alright, so the shield belts are done. Which means... Acid, Eleven, and Tony are all going to have shield belts. So, at least we've got that. Uh, another thing I need to do is dusters, but we're waiting on this... Oh, I'm having power shortages enough that it's causing uh, plants to die off. So let me flick on my backup jennies. So if that's the case, uh, what I might end up doing is uh, adding some additional power, um, maybe solar panels here or something like that. I'll have to I'll have to brainstorm. Because yeah, I almost had these plants die off, and that'd be a big old mistake. All right, so anywhere there is constructed roof, we'll remove it. Uh, additionally, I could put a solar power panel here. That was actually a suggestion 
that was uh, proposed uh, because it would be very, very difficult for anyone to destroy a panel in that spot. So that's not a terrible idea. It just requires me to get somewhat irradiated while doing it. Um... Alright, we got a raid dropping on top of me. They are dropping to my beacon, so perfect. Uh, clever tactics, but uh, I don't know how clever they really are. Alright, so what I want to do is draw them here as fast as I can. So you guys are going to head south first and then west. Now they're clever, which means they're going to avoid turrets. But if I'm standing, offering myself up as a target, I'll stand right there. Um, they are going to do the same. They're going to come on in. So they might, yeah, here they go. They're already walking in. So I'm going to have some brawlers ready to ambush. Kazumi, you should not have taken the shortcut. I thought I had uh, ordered her not to. Alright, weapons that they have. They do have two doomsday launchers. That's scary. Hmm, they're going around. They're not coming in. No, one's coming in. Uh, Semph, take position. Poppy, take position. Acid is here trying to lure himself, offer himself up as a valid target. A few of them have been shredded. So let's see. Is there. There's a doomsday for Miriam there. Then I might be able to. Uh, to just ninja. And then Klein has the other one. Right, how irradiated are we? 31%? We're not going to be able to stand out here for very long. Oh, and Acid can't stand out here at all. Yes. Take the bait. Take the bait. I love it. Alright, uh, 11 took some damage. I'm gonna want to get this guy out of the door, so the door closes. Alright, because there's no other way into my base, um... Tony, I'm gonna use you up here. You're the only one with low enough, um... Radiation. I might be able to ambush Klein here. Oh my god. Could I? Yes, I can. Oh, ho, 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 it's bad news for you. All right, let's uh, have Acid prop that door open so Tony can retreat quickly. Oh, that was delicious. All right, the other Doomsday La Launcher is up there. Um, let's have Tony worry about that. These guys walking right in the kill box, and now they're fleeing. Um, Tony try to get Miriam. That worked out quite well. Pretty much all enemies that aren't sappers are going to act, um, very much the way you just saw. They're going to act, um... Uh, can we get Miriam? Oh, Jesus, Tony. How did your radiation get so high? No, I can't get Miriam. I guess Tony was, the, yeah, Tony was one of the ones on the list. Okay, well, I guess we're super hyper irradiated. Yippee. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to quickly flip this switch. 
I guess I could have tried to ambush Miriam over here. In fact, no, Poppy, you're one of these super irradiates too. Hired gun. 23%. I don't think he's going to be able to get up here in time. As much as I'd like to uh, get that. Not going to worry about it. Well, we have another Doomsday launcher. I'm not even sure where we hauled it to. Oh, main stock. Okay. I could have used the... Uh, actually. Well, no. I'm going to use the Shock Lance for when I need it defensively. I'm not going to offensively... Oh, wow. You're walking... Okay, you're just begging to be shot at. No. I wasn't ready. Oh, well. Down to Doomsday, but uh, pretty easy defense there. Alright, Semph. Yep. Getting in bed. Alright, Operation Excise Carcinoma with meds. Semph, get back up there. This should be relatively easy, even though uh, Stormy's a little drunk. <laughs> Alright, limited radiation zone. I'm going to uh, add the weapons and stuff. It's excised. So yeah, I should really consider adding stuff to the power grid. I'm not really sure why I'm sucking up so much power now. Um, I'll just start turning things off I know I don't need. I mean, some of it might be just all the lo rather large network of lights that I've got going on. That's probably, probably it. The slug turrets performed amazingly well. I've got to say. All right, James. As much as I'd like to have you rest, I've just got a lot of work for you, buddy. Tony got carcinoma. Yeah, that's no surprise. Alright, so the idea here is to have a wall here so it's repairable, and then a wall down here as well. Something like that. Um, due to the nature that um, that uh, this is... Oh yes, it can all be one turret. Due to the nature that this is all uh, going to be colder than most tiles, um, what I'm going to do is... Set it up to have a door, to have it be, like, sort of insulated. All right, Semph, you're back on your feet. Tony, you're waiting for carcinoma. Treatment. All right, Tony, you are going to get excise carcinoma. Ah, oh, I'm going through my meds so fast. Operate on your X. All right, James, how's it going? We're tidying up the place. All right, so the really, really important parts would be to make the walls that are down here. So I'm just going to partial haul the chunks. This should not be part of the no rad zone. Actually, none of this should. This is all sort of irradiating. So, I'm going to clear the no red zone for around here. And that should keep my irradiated people a little bit better protected. 
Uh, Jane's. This wall obviously is where they could attack. So that's going to be the important one to build first. And then everything else is just gravy. So we have all the really important walls done. Uh, furniture. I want light here. That should be eight. Yep. And then 16 tiles away. So I guess a light here. And then a light here. And this is to prevent bugs from spawning down here. All right. Then uh, we're going to have a door here. And this is to keep the cold air out. Uh, so let's reinstall that up one. We got another raid. This is at the outpost. And what was this? They are preparing a while. That's going to be weird. They're like kind of in the, uh, in the radius. All right. I'm taking 11 off the bed rest. All right. Mr. James. Turn this off. Oh, Tony's been... Cancer's been excised. Alright, so this turret still protects this whole area from sapping. And then we'll just have a separate area down here. So now this should be its own room, and it is. It's awful, but it's its own room. Nope, oh, aggro's making a duster. That means uh, we've got the cloth harvest. All right, beginning your assaults. I will watch you die. Agent Smith. What a weasel. That was his name, by the way. All right, as far as medical tabs go, acid on no rads, semph on no rads, and Tony on no rads, and then everybody else can be limited. So, semph, acid, Tony. No, we shouldn't... Well, none of those built roofs matter. Because all the places that have overhead radiation will not have roofs. Tony got carcinoma again. Man, that trade route really ruined me. In a very bad way. Come on, there's uh, they're still right here. What's funny is that's a spot... That has uh, overhead uh, or no overhead mountain or anything. Meteorite is silver ore. In a place I will never ever see. Alright, I can leave all this rough. I don't need to clean it up. Stormy. You are the new Captain Cancer. Congratulations. No, don't drop. Rest. Operate. Yeah. This, I obviously am going to need to crank out a bunch of regular meds. Masterwork, huh? Dang. It's getting some good dusters. And I'm probably over manufacturing dusters because uh, Acid, uh, Tony, and Eleven are going to ditch their dusters. Uh, because obviously they will be grabbing um, power armor.
All right. For a solar generator, I could probably fit two in here. Again, a very irradiating task, but um, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. It needs to be done. All right, so this will be limited radiation all over again. Power one, two. I might be able to get three in. Well, I could fit three, but this won't be double insulated. Might be worth it. I'm going to ignore roof zone for now. And eventually I'll remove it. What are we making now? More dusters? Alright, I'm going to have one extra duster. Because, like I said, we're going to be cranking out power armor. And we won't need it. So, the marine armor here requires more plasteel than I currently have. Uh, which is why we're not making it. Inspire surgery. Stormy, that's probably going to be useful. So Tony is still potentially irradiated and getting cancers, but everyone else is okay. Although, you, 11, are very, very high. Acid. Okay, they're all good. Um, yes, we can turn the that off. Oh, there's also now a whole bunch of um, slag here that can be used for where they landed. And this is, obviously, these guys, this pod drop landed on my beacon. I think that's explicitly clear, as they are literally next to the beacon. But that's exactly why I have this thing uninstalled, powered off, and this thing installed, powered on. So that in the case that they are attacking a beacon, they don't get to just, you know... They're, they're not spawning in my trade area, because that would be very, very bad. I'm going to prop this open. I'm just going to get... Um, Janes to haul some of this out of the way. That's enough out of the way. And electrical fault. Again, not a problem. We have a vanometric power cell and uh, a lot of things that that uh, that stop the faults. All right. Um, I didn't realize how much I went through the bug corpses, so I'm going to allow all insect corpses here, and then we'll start hauling the remainder. It's weird that I feel like I have a lack of bugs. It's an odd feeling, I've got to say. Maybe I shouldn't burn, well, we burned, the last batch we burned, we still, um, we still did a fair bit of, uh, butchery. We didn't cook them all. So this one turret covers this whole area. Poppy, could you just finish that off? I don't need Kazuma to do it. All I need to do is haul the, uh, the chunks out. This is going to be a very irradiating task for these two. Most of this is not under roofs. Or under overhead mountain or whatever. Thin rock roof, etc. 
So the idea here is to embed some solar panels like this, uh, you know, sort of in the mountain. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to move this wall up. And then... Yeah. I'm also deciding to basically create a permanently irradiated zone in the base, which is kind of a weird thing to be purposely doing. Line up the rest of this. Oh, actually, is this... This is overhead mountain. So, don't bother. We're never going to be able to uh, have solar there. Alright, that means I'm going to remove the roof over this. area. I'm just going to require James to do it now. There. Wonderful. Little, little projects. Many little projects. All right, so the this should not be a no rad zone. This should be a limited radiation zone. And then additionally, I'm going to need to wire power to it. Um, let's get the rest of the chunks out of this tunnel, and then I can just leave the tunnel alone. This tunnel is all set and ready. It's illuminated so that it's not a target for infestations, etc., etc. Okay, there's plenty of steel left that is um, that I have access to, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Have we re oh, we have not rearmed yet. So this shelf here was for... Is there nothing on this shelf? Um, raw resources of uranium. And then, likewise, I'm going to want a shelf... So what I'm going to have this is preferred. Store uranium there as well. And this is going to be critical. We're going to store spare uranium near where we need to rearm it. Alright, solar panels are all set. There, obviously it's 22 o'clock, so not generating power right now. But that should help to supplement a, at least a little bit. Uh, another thing I could do is... Oh, wow. This perfectly... Barely, but perfectly fits here. Um, I could have wind power right there. It's a perfect fit, so. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Might as well. I think I'm going to start lay stop lay uh, laying into lavish meals and start doing fine meals to conserve... Uh, veg and meat and all that jazz. Uh, Stormy, you are... Awake. I'm going to have Stormy because Stormy doesn't have any irradiation to grab these uh, the stuff that's out there.
Drop your own rifle. <laughs> Snort Yayo. Yeah, let's not stand out in the radiation snorting Yayo. We don't need to become a super mutant. Also, the quality of my uh, weapons... There's more to be desired from them. All right, the other direction I'm going to go is up here, where I'm going to drop my rifle again and help to haul this slag in quickly. Only putting radiation on Stormy because Stormy doesn't usually have a lot of radiation build up. This is precious steel that I will be able to use to uh, rearm turrets, make weapons and supplies, all that sort of wonderful stuff. Done. Not that big of a deal. Alright, so these solar panels are definitely helping to refill the batteries. I'd like to refill the batteries, uh, essentially not relying on... Oh, you know what? I need to put this as walls. Yes. So all this should be home zone now. Oh, your helmet just failed. That's sad. There we go. Now it's all repairable. And I'm going to delete that zone. All right, so this helmet here should be... Oh, yes. Neither of you can haul it. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I want. No one getting irradiated. All right, so no rad's zone can look something weird like this. Allow them to travel partially into the tunnel system, but no further. Zoomy's idle, because... Oh, actually, you have limited... Oh, uh, you don't haul, though. That's why. All right, I'm going to allow the smelter turning on. Taking a look, we have wind now. Wind generation. There's really nowhere safe for me to add some more wind jennies. Unless I put them up here. I could put one there, I guess. I'll add one more in. I've been having some brownouts, so it'd be it'd be a smart idea. And it would give someone like Cephalu something to do. It's just the issue with here, I don't want to add in too much gen uh, generation up, up here because it's very easy for these cables to burn. In fact, I could embed the cables into the uh, into the wall. Um the issue is it. I, I want to leave a gap open so that raiders can transition from the east side of the map over to my kill box without having to bash walls and whatnot. Well, my mood is really good. I'm actually surprised I don't have more um, inspiration. Alright, 
cooking five meals, I'm going to be cooking five meals with insect meat. And let's just build up a giant stock of uh, fine meals of insect meat. Uh, next up. All right, we still need steel. That's why I haven't done the plaz steel for the marine armor, because our steel is basically a whopping zero. Smelting this slag will help a lot, but it's, you know, I'd like my steel up into almost the four digits. Like, you know, what I'm saying is a thousand or so. Um, before I feel good. Trouble is we've been using a lot of components and steel for turbines and whatnot. So this door here should be closed. So I'm going to have Stormy go close it. And this prevents, well, this one's closed too, but it prevents um, enemies easy access to this section of the power grid. Thank you, Stormy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign everybody to simple and fine meals. I'm going to keep the lavish meals for when we are in the middle of the endgame raids and uh, I'm needing to, you know, bolster up moods. Alright, cancelled everyone's current task, so they all attend a party, a soiree, as it were. Oh boy, I have so many little boom rats. You know, I, I'll i train them, but I really don't want to bond. So all of my chem fuel power generators off, I am generating positive power. Um, I even have my smelter on. Didn't have my machining table on, but now I do. No one's hauled these weapons. That's weird. They just, I, I get, I assume have had other things. So now we have reloading. Um, was oh, this? No, it's in home zone. We've got uh, reloading. Oh, I need a popper over here, don't I? Reloading uranium next to these turrets, although we haven't yet reloaded them. Another thing I might want is I might want a suicide turret. Uh, the Essentially a turret. Um, I'll have to make it out of uranium just so it's tougher. But a turret that we turn on if an enemy is coming into the kill box and that enemy has like a doomsday launcher or something um, equally damaging. I'm going to want to be able to turn on a turret and bait out the, uh, the shot. Uh, so I'm gonna put a suicide turret out here. Oh no, um, yeah. I was just thinking that's gonna stop sappers. Yeah, it will stop sappers. Hmm. Alright, I can put the suicide turret around here. Um. In fact, this is a little weird and distracting. But what I will do is uh, turret around there. The suicide turret, so to speak. And that way, additionally, if I have brawlers coming in or something like that, uh, I can lure the brawlers in to... Uh, to this turret as well. Another medical emergency, so I'm telling Poppy to stop what she's doing. Alright, so this turret is going to be reinstalled out there. And my steel basically back down to zero. 
It's kind of funny. Yeah, Jeans is working on it. So, yeah, power's going up. Slowly, but surely. We're moving that, uh, the explodey turret out. I'm gonna break down some of these cables. I really ordered it inefficiently, but whatever, it's to follow. And attacking immediately pirate raid out at the trade. All right, so those cables are out of the way. Suicide turret is in the middle of nowhere, so if it gets rocketed, it's not going to get destroyed. Man, these really have not recovered. All right, I'm going to charge it back up by turning on the chem fuel power generators. Uh, another thing I want to do is just to take a quick stare at my power grid to make sure I don't have any um, laps or gaps or anything like that. No, this connects to the main grid. This connects to the main grid. Yep, so I don't have any laps or gaps or anything like that. Just, just it's finding it hard to charge back up. Wilkinson, Mr. Officer Wilkinson. Very neurotic chemical interest, dumb labor refusals. But you actually made it to a turret. So good for you, man. Most people don't make it that far. You're still dead. But you got a slash or two in. Alright, the spare components queue is done. The advanced components queue is done as well. Uh, over here, what I want to do is, um, don't allow the sniper rifle. I want both doomsdays there. All of these, uh, glow pods. Um, I don't really need a bunch of glow pods. I don't know. I'm going to deconstruct them. No one's ever going to buy them and they're just taking it from... The five meals looking good. Our insect meat is holding. And that's about all the time I have for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the defense, the pod attack defense. Double doomsday launchers, none of them were used. Uh, we're getting pretty close to that goal mark. I would say once I have a nice, healthy stockpile of uh, steel, plus steel, uranium, plus better armor for my brawlers... Uh, that's when I'm going to feel pretty secure about hitting the go button on that reactor. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line. I'm looking forward to seeing what you read, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.